Hey, what's up? This is MC Uriah with Global Visions, and I'm here today with a Pro Tools tutorial. Global Visions, bringing your visions to life. Hey, this tutorial begins the new series that I'm about to start. And where I want to start with this is uh, just getting the tracking session formulated. Um, I want to do this in Pro Tools because in most major studios, if you pull up, you're going to be working in Pro Tools. Um, there's a lot of other great DAWs out there uh, I support and may do more in-depth deep dive tutorials in the future. But for this, I just wanted to get uh, a nice polished tracking session for hip hop pop. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that realm of music going. So I want to get things started by opening up a session. Um, we're going to start from the bones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, all that off, and we're going to start from the beginning. First and foremost, I want you to go to uh, a website. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, but www.protoolskeyboardshortcuts.com. Uh, uh, go there and start to look up the Pro Tools shortcuts and memorize as much as you can for what you're trying to accomplish in Pro Tools. There's way too much to remember, but uh, it'll help you save time and uh, cutting and adjusting and adding and slicing. There's a lot of, if you're a professional and this is what you do for a living, it's good to be polished and professional to the client that you're working with. If you're a producer and, you know, uh, you're not an engineer, that's okay. This is still good information to have to when you're working with an artist who wants to rap on your beat, but he doesn't have the engineer available. Um, anyways, let's get things started. You can uh, do shift uh, command N to get a, uh, new tracks going. We're going to get a uh, few things started. We're going to start with a two-track beat. Because let's say we got the free download, um, so on and so forth. Uh, after that, we're going to use about uh, five vocal tracks. We're going to do the main vocal, the ad-lib, stacks, um, the hook, and then let's say two backup hooks for fillers. Uh, we'll move over into the aux inputs. I have seven up here right now because I have um, eighth delay, quarter delay, short reverb, long reverb. And then um, a doubler. And then I also have two auxes for vocals in the vocal chain. And then, um, of course, I have one master fader. Okay, and the master fader is going to be the master fader. Everything is going to be stereo except for the vocals that we're recording at this point. Um, after that, you hit OK. Everything is going to pop should pop up like this, but it's going to be empty and it's going to be dry and dull. Um, that's fine. We're going to run through everything one step at a time. Um, how I get started is before a beat is even in here, uh, I turn down about four decibels, four to six decibels, depending on how loud or what type of beat it is, um, you know, for this kind of beat. See the and we're using the limiter that's kind of pushing on that uh on that bass a little bit, but uh still keeping a, a good tone. It's not too loud, it's not uh breaking breaking the sound or anything. That's why I turn it down so that way we can just have that little bit of headroom because it'll be better for when you send it to the engineer or it's when you uh, send it to whoever. So everything you're gonna record is into this uh, rec record track right here. That's why I colored it red and labeled it different. But you're gonna take this record track along with all your other tracks that you just renamed for vocals, and uh, you're gonna hit sh uh, shift option, click uh, bus, and bus it to whatever you wanna call it. So for me, I choose to lead vocals. 
Um, and it only did the ones I selected doing the shift option click. If you didn't do that, it'll move everything around and it'll mess it up. After um, it sends to the lead vocal, the lead vocal goes to my vocal aux. Uh, so the in comes from the lead vocal and then goes out to the mix bus vocal, which is this boost uh, with just a very minor EQ and a limiter to turn things up and down. Um, okay, same thing. We want to get these eighth delays set up. So I have, uh, I have a bus. I set it up as an eighth delay. You know what I'm saying? Rename it. Right click, rename, eighth delay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And then you go into whatever track you're using. And then it says, I want a fourth delay. I turn that up. And then I can then feed I, that in I, without I, uh, over, without, without touching the vocals directly. And you can just kind of have that. Same thing with the, the reverbs. It's late. You want that Travis Scott kind of sound? You can kind of turn that long reverb up. If you want more of like a boom bap podcasty uh, in the studio kind of sound, uh, you can do that uh, short reverb. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, we get those kind of set up, and then I also have I run a doubler just to feed through a little bit, a, a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So in the same way, and then I lead that back to. Why do I lead? No, I don't need all these. I must have messed it up that earlier. So we're going to send all these out like so. Uh, you want all your auxes to go out to the main, and then, then that'll send it out to this master bus right here. The only thing I have right here is a limiter, um, uh, the, a PAZ analyzer by Waves, and uh, the WLM loudness meter by waves, so that way you can look, make sure that nothing is peaking on your meters, that you're not anti-phasing. Um, and then over here, to make sure that your long-term uh, LUFS meters are good for uh, uh, Spotify, uh, iTunes uploads, and things like that. Um, if you like this and you want to see more, well, let me turn these echoes off. If you like this and you want to see more, uh, I'm going to upload a video next week. So subscribe. Uh, I'm going to upload a video next week going in depth more of this tutorial along with the session file of this tutorial going through all these settings, through all these plugins. And um, if you don't have it, if you don't have Waves plugins, don't be afraid. Uh, there will be an option that will have stock plugins. And if you comment below this week and get ahead of it, um, what plugins you use, I can see if I can uh, consider to throw them in. Be sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed this content. Subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more. Don't forget to hit that notification bell.